Hi guys, the cheapest and most safest coins on the whole internet. Check out MuleFactory.com and use the code ONFEEV at checkout for a discount. They have a 100% safe comfort trade and they also do lots of different deals with coins and also different players as you can see down below. Check them out, there's a link in the description. Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video guys. Welcome to a video showing you the best sniping filters on FIFA 21 currently. Um... It's basically we're going to click the subscribe button and obviously notifications. If you do want to see more videos, that would be really appreciated. Um, we go into here, 11k, uh, 10k by now is the cheapest. Um, normally, it's 12k here as well. We want to get them for about 8k though, basically. That's the sort of price you want to pay for them. And so we're going to here, um, put in 900k and then just search. You don't have to put 900k, but that's for me is the best sort of price to put. Um, because you can obviously keep searching for a long time and nothing's going to get in the way and you can just keep going through you do get deals on this quite often like it's a pretty common filter to make a lot of coins on obviously you obviously saw on the Foden series that was what I was trying to think of Foden um, that, that series there there was an awful lot of Bolivians and stuff like that um, on the series you'll see it more in episode 2 it should be coming out tomorrow guys so if you're new around here please do turn on notifications and subscribe so you don't miss a video we're going to be absolutely bashing out the videos up until FIFA 22 and then we're going to try and show you guys how to make loads of coins in a new FIFA it's just like a very null period at the moment obviously it's summer holidays for a lot of you guys as well um, starting this weekend I think um Hope you're looking forward to that, um, and hope you guys can get learning some training tips ready for FIFA 22, or even for this game still. You might still be playing this. I mean, I am at the moment because I've built a pretty good team. So yeah, that's basically why I'm going to be doing this, guys. After training to Foden, I have decided I'm going to do a really big series. I'm going to trade the prime moment to Ronaldinho, so that's going to be coming out after Foden. So make sure you get like, like stick around for that because there's going to be some very very big profits in that and stuff, obviously, because we're going to be making an awful lot of coins. But we can't buy these three finish cards here, like 7k. I mean, they're a bargain, really. Um, we can go and sell them on easily for like 8k. That's obviously not the sniping method in itself, that's just another part of it. Um, so, this is basically this deal that was sat on the market on Xbox. It would never happen on PlayStation, but on Xbox, guys, it does happen. Obviously, the third one's a really low profit, but we're just doing that to get them out of the way. We go in here now, we want to search about 6k, 6.5 even up to seven if you want to but it's up to you um how much profit you want to make per card obviously that's your choice you can decide what you want to make so you're going to just keep searching here this was a method guys that i'd actually get a deal on in the uh, video which is really really like, good i was quite surprised about three in the morning that one did pop up but um yeah i won't spoil it for you fully but you'll see in a second that it does come up for a pretty nice price but um yeah if you do have any questions any methods but, yeah 1.7k for jackola Obviously, we just bought two as well, so it must be pretty common. Um, Bristol Rovers, the uh, goalkeeper. But yeah, I hope you have enjoyed um, the video so far, guys. Obviously, there's still three more tips to come, so make sure you stick around for those. And guys, there is a method at the end where I do get some pretty nice deals. Uh, basically, once again, they're in the Foden series. A lot of different filters. These are low coin filters. There's also going to be a high coin filter as well in this video just for you guys, because obviously, I know you do want to see every now and again a few little bits and bobs um, like that. The next one now, guys, is going over to the Saudis, I think it is. I think we'll do that next. That might just be a spoiler for later on. Here it is. Um, so yeah, this one's going to be Premier League. And you see here, 600 Premier League, guys, there's not many cards up. There's a few cards. If you want to put this in about 550, you'll see there's barely any. Like, literally, look, there's, four, there's 14 cards, maybe 12 cards. So we're going to put in now 400 coins this time, everything that comes up. Because this method is really good. If you get a lot of silver and bronze, it's like 200, 250, and make a load of coins. You can also obviously get gold to 400, some for 700 a lot of the time. Which, again, is a nice little profit. You can't complain at all with that. So obviously, you're going to just keep searching here. Hope you pick up a deal. Um, it's quite a common method in the day. Like, it's really solid in the day to do this. I mean, you can make an awful lot of coins off it in the day. It's more difficult, obviously, as you're probably not surprised in the middle of the night because there's so many less cards getting listed that's what you've got to remember there's always less cards being listed at night time as there is to daytime so hopefully you do remember that um but yeah we're just going to keep searching here now and hopefully pick up something good um so 400 coins is fairly cheap um for anything so you're never going to lose coins there's never a chance you can lose coins in that method so that's always the good benefit of it and then now guys into the next one and we do have team of the season filters now the sniping filter of team of the season it's basically on the lowest tots so we go in now like 58k we thought we'll check that but no you want to go then up to 55 56 try and find the cheapest and as you can see guys right there it's about 56k so you want to snipe them around that sort of thing let's see if you can get any deals on them obviously it's not likely that every time you're going to get a deal there'll be days where you don't days where you 
you get an insane deal. Like obviously I've had ones where I've got a Latero Martinez for like 20k and he sold for 250k back in the day. So that's always crazy. So you've just got to keep basically looking out for stuff like that. That's the sort of method that you want to be doing because there are chances to make really, really good profit. Like proper good. Now to the point of like 30-40k a card. This one's more high budget though, 200-300k plus you want to have. And the final method guys is the one that I gave away earlier, the Silver Saudi Arabia method. If you want to get Silver Saudi and put in about 3k, uh, you can see here 2, 5, 2, 6, they're loading them up, but normally there's much less than that. So um, yeah, you put it down to about 2k and just keep searching. And um, you can see here starting at like 900k again, just keep searching through guys. But yeah, I mean, no deals come from this right now, but you can see for a fact in the Foden series, you do get deals on it. So I'm not lying to you guys. You can go and check that episode out, guys, and check out tomorrow's for lots more information on that series itself. But yeah, just searching in here now. One final little look um, on the bid, see if anyone was going cheap, but no. But guys, thanks for watching. I do go and check in out if a Finland player has sold. Um, I thought he had, but unfortunately it wasn't a Finland player. It was Del Piero and Kane, but guys, quickly now, as we come back in here, you'll see one did sell really fast just after. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Please drop a like, sub if you're new, and I will see you all again very soon with a brand new video, guys. Cheers.